since Leicester City were promoted back to the Premier League in 2014, we have travelled to the King Power Stadium six times. In those six games, we have only managed to win once. Funny enough, that was in the title winning season in 2015-2016. We've only scored seven goals and they've scored 11. And literally the last three meetings there, they've beaten us in all three meetings and we've only managed one goal. Can we change our fortunes uh, at the Leicester City Stadium? Let's hope so. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the match preview for Arsenal's trip to Leicester City. Big game is here again. I never enjoy traveling to the King Power Stadium. We never have a good record there. We never win our games there as you had in the intro. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at their record so far this season, our record at the King Power Stadium, the all-time record, and of course at the end, my lineup and my prediction for the game. So let's get straight into it. So for the all-time um, all record, not lineup, that would be amazing, all-time lineup since 1900s or something. Um, all-time record, we've won 67 games, they've won 33, and we've drawn 45 times. As usual, as always, our record against these teams are big, um, are big, big and better. But most of them are catching up, unfortunately, with us, uh, especially City. I think in the last like ten games, they're always winning, winning, winning. So the records are catching up. Um, at the King Power Stadium, as I said in the intro, we've only won once, and that was in the Alexis Sanchez season, where he scored a hat trick. Um, we always won those games with Sanchez, away to Stoke, away to West Ham. He was really big in those away games. That, that's uh, if I was to be, if I was asked why I miss him, I would say because of those away games. He always stand up in those big away games. We've only scored seven goals, and seven, five of those seven came in one game where we won five two. So basically, we've. They've kept clinches against us in uh, several times. And um, they've scored 11 goals. Vardy has scored many of them. Vardy has also scored a total of 11 goals against us since 2014. Just seven years and he's already passed um, Harry Kane in terms of scoring against Arsenal. He's already passed the likes of Drogba in scoring against Arsenal. Only Rooney is ahead of him and that is by one goal. Can he get that one goal mm, over the weekend? Probably, and that would be a nightmare. We'll never ever deal with him. Um, Leicester's season so far, they've played 25 games in the league. They've won 15, they've drawn 4, and they've lost 6. They are 49 points, they've scored 44 goals, conceded 27 and a goal difference of 17. The 44 goals scored, that is the 4th best in the league, and the 27 conceded, that is the 5th best. So... They are third in the league, uh, same points as United, they've been doing really well, like since they won the league, yes they dropped off for one season, but again the last three years they've been very consistent European football, although they were knocked out by Slavia Prague in the Europa League on Thursday, so that would be a downer for them. Madison is also injured, so a couple of um, good luck charms for us at sea, uh, Madison has also been doing very well against us, so... Um, that is all you need to know about um, Leicester's season. This season, we've already played them two times. Once in the Carabao Cup. That was Ateta's first game at the King Power Stadium and he won it. So that is a positive. That was in September. But one month later, they came to the M8 Stadium and they that was a masterclass from Rogers. They literally defended, brought on Vardy and Unde and got the goal like 10 minutes later and beat us 1-0. That was one... Well, I think that was the start of the bad run like from October, November, December. That was one of the first games where it was terrible memories for us. So... Yeah, it, uh, it it wasn't good. It definitely wasn't good. Again, red cards for us, I think. And the King Power Stadium, Mavropanos has picked up a red card for us. Niles has done the same. So we need to remain disciplined. We need to cover Vardy. And we need to take our chances. So what lineup would I go for for this match? For my lineup, I'd go for Leno in gold, obviously. And then my back four would be Tierney at left back. Pablo Mari to replace Gabriel who was all over the place against Benfica 
and he hasn't been that good in the last few games so i'd uh, put him out and drop him for a bit and then louise would partner him and then cedric at right back bellerin also needs to be dropped for a few games and then in midfield i'd go for shaka Pate, and emil smith throw in front of them Pate's back sabas also had a had a shocker against benfica almost cost us the europa league uh, spot and then up front i'd bring back lacazette I'd have Sack on the right and I'd bring Aubameyang on the left. I know we really don't like him in that position that much, but I need Lacazette to play. And Aubameyang is back scoring and firing again, so I'd start that squad. On the bench, I'd have Ryan, Bellerin, Holding, Gabriel, Pepe, Mohamed Delneni, Odegaard, Gabriel, Martinelli, and William. Um, Danny Sabas to miss out from, from my bench, unfortunately. I'd give him this week off after that shocker in Athens. Now uh, we have a one week break that's a good thing so that's enough time for the li likes of Saka to get a rest so I'm hoping to get a couple of goals early and then maybe take the likes of Saka off for a rest I'm really hoping that could happen because he's really been very good this season so my prediction for the game I'm actually going to go for the second win at the King Power Stadium so Leicester 2 and Arsenal 3 yep to get 3 goals let me try and predict again. I predicted Obama and Brace and William assist against Benfica and it worked out that way. So I'm going to go for Lacazette to score this time round for sure. And I'm going to go for maybe a Saka assist. So those are the two I'm fancying for this game. So let me know your prediction. Let me know your starting lineup. Um, I'll have my position preview later on. I'll link it up in the YouTube card after it's out. So depending on when you're watching this thanks for the support make sure you drop a like on the video thank you for watching keep staying safe and i'll catch up with you guys later